I'm Malia, I'm CEO and lead designer and co-owner of Trueform Tangy. And today we're showing you in detail our Cascade Maps. Okay, so this is the Cascade Max and explain to you um, the background about how it came to be and just some of the nuances of the model that you're seeing in the video uh, versus what we show you on the website. This was designed and adapted for a couple that are staying on, on some property with family. They're later in life and they want this to be their forever home. Can you hear okay over the construction over here? So some of the differences on this floor plan from what we have as our standard on our website is the location of the kitchen. Instead of being on the end, it's right outside the bathroom. And we added two feet so that we could get the, the bedroom bigger. The standard for the Cascade Max is to have a bathtub and a shower in the bathroom, but it's an option to put a loft over the bathroom and increase your storage significantly. So in this case, we just added a little uh, broom closet and then a nice big closet uh, with a pocket door, two nice sized closets in that room. The reason that they moved the kitchen over to the outside of the bathroom was because they had some views they really wanted to harness on that end of their property. And so we have really big windows with transoms all in that area. So on our Cascade Max, we have put the top plate up a little higher on this end of the house so that you can attach rafters and have a little arbor overhang if you want to over a big deck. Additionally, this little bump in here on the exterior facade, the intention was that you might have a little pocket garden. On this particular build, we did a monochromatic exterior aesthetic, a lot of white and use the materials playing with each other as a textural element. So the trim is white, the lap is white, the board and batten is white, and then there's bits of wood um, that we stained black to add kind of a modern pop to it. Largely what influenced this design was this light. This is from Rejuvenation and it's just beautiful. It's got this really matte sheen finish on the exterior of the shade and then inside it's a really glossy copper and it's just stunning the hey, light Malia, we've been looking for that light <sighs> <laughs> thank you oops so in our styling we did a really soft velvet couch and it was about 85 inches wide it's a full-size couch visibly a very very soft sofa and then brought in some more schlubby pillows and heavy textured items. You'll see the rug. So in the kitchen, uh, we did a lot of white. Uh, the upper shelves, we always do them in hickory. That's a really neutral wood. Personal preference of mine because of the variation that it has. It has, you know, really light bits and it has really dark bits. So you can see here, this is a really good example of just the nature of hickory. It's a very pretty wood. We did a, you know, off-white, very neutral countertop that has some veining in it. And then the tile, instead of just plain subway tile, which is three by six, so it'd be pieces more like this size. We did these longer eight by three pieces of tile and they have a very like organic texture, but glossy. It made a nice dramatic look in the backsplash. And then we did all the white cabinetry and then the wood floors really warm it up. And then we're putting lighting on top of those beams so that that light can cast up and off of the ceiling. Throughout the whole unit, we used black metals. In the styling, I actually brought in some coppers, which were really nice at complementing the woods that were throughout. And so with all those whites and grays, having these dramatic pops of black, it's just really beautiful and very modern. In the shower, we used this tile on the walls, which is, it was really fun. It's also, it's a three by six, and it's also a very glossy kind of organic texture. While it is a dark tile, there's a window in the space, and so it really felt great. And then for the floor, we used a white penny tile to draw 
and the whites that are throughout the unit. And then for the main floor, this is a marble. This is a Carrera and it's just gorgeous. It's a natural material. Each piece, every tile is just so different. We ran a warm gray grout throughout everything. And then in the bedroom, it's a lot of white. The, you know, the shelving is white, walls are white, floors are, are hickory, but it was important to bring in another warm element, which this is just an example of kind of some warmth that you'll see in the lighting fixture. There's a little bit of room in this bedroom to have a small desk. So you probably have your chair kind of set against the wall when you're not using your desk and then pull the chair up when you're ready to use your desk. With our plans that you find online and designs, it's really, it's just a starting point. We can take whatever you love and don't love and work it into something that's exactly what you want in terms of finishes and architectural layout. So we have an online designer where you can go through hundreds of options and finishes and you can choose things from there. But you can also have a custom design pathway with me where I can help you to pick out things that you're, maybe the things on our website aren't quite right for you and I can help you to find what is right for you. All right, so our Cascade Max is great for somebody that's wanting that ground floor living. They want a fresh, beautiful quality home because we handcraft every square inch of these and we put a lot of attention into these models to make them exactly what you want and i just really hope that i get to build for you and that you come and visit us thank you for watching